Welcome back everybody. This is Tim here from the small state of Rhode Island. You're about to watch another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. Stay safe and enjoy. So welcome back everyone. Mike here. Guess what I did today? Almost nothing. Well, I mean, I take that back. I didn't do anything outside today, really. It was uh, it was really cold this morning. I don't mean like, you know, super cold. It was probably like 28 degrees, but when it was 70, you know, for a few days, it felt pretty cold. And plus, we had about two inches of snow this morning. It's all melted off now, though. Now at least the uh, sun is out. It's only about 40 degrees right now. Now tomorrow looks like it's going to be pretty decent, mostly sunny, and uh, I think around 50 degrees. So what I want to do tonight is cut the uh, rest of the two by sixes for the rafters for the woodshed you see over there in the background. And then tomorrow we'll get the rest of them up. I want to get that wrapped up and get it stained and get the metal roof on it, some more stone in there, and then I can start loading that one up. Button up the uh, mini cabin. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up above the last video. We did an update on it last night. Need some trim, some windows, a door, and uh, that's going to be a nice hangout spot this summer. So, uh, but like I say, tonight we're going to saw some more 2x6s out of this red pine. need to get uh, some more washer fluid. I thought pretty soon I'd be able to start uh, just running water again, but uh, after this morning, like I said, it's like 28 degrees. By the way, a lot of people have been asking uh, what that is. The thing with the four legs there out in front of the woodshed. Uh, that is a deer feeder. I haven't had anything in it since uh, last year. And yeah, I do need to move that out of the way. But even with everything going on down here, I could fill that thing up. And I guarantee you in a matter of two, three days, the deer would be here every night. Probably be eating there even if I was running the sawmill. Now uh, this one, this one's not real big, but I'll get a few two by sixes out of it and a few uh, siding boards. mention uh, two things before we get started keep sending in those intros and outros to our videos we love that we want to keep that going send them to uh, outdoors with the Morgans 
at gmail.com. Make sure you uh, hold your phone sideways, you know, in landscape mode, do a little introduction, little ending, send them in, and we just kind of randomly pick them as they come in, drop them in a video. And the other thing, and I don't mention this enough, uh, I do put a little thing across the screen sometimes, but if you enjoy these videos, we would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon beside it, and you'll get notifications when we upload. Subscribers versus views, I mean, the views are what you want. Uh, but I'll be honest, I can't figure it out. We've got, I don't know, 57 million views or something like that on our videos and like 146,000 subscribers. All really good, fantastic. But for the number of views, I would think there'd be more subscribers. And the only reason I say that is I see other channels with like double the subscribers but less views. So I don't understand that. And it's like I said, it's not a big deal. I know a lot of people watching on their TV, and we have a very, very loyal uh, group of people here that watch our videos, and we really appreciate that. So, you know, we don't have one video that does a half a million views, and then the next one does 10,000 views. We have a few that have taken off, but mostly just pretty consistent. Same bunch of people here, and it's fantastic. We really appreciate that. And share these with your friends. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are into the finer things in life like we are, you know, out cutting wood or building stuff or screwing around on your property. That's kind of what this is all about, chainsaws, tractors. And uh, so yeah, share them on your Facebook page or email them to your friends or something like that. We can keep growing, would appreciate it. But anyway, I better get busy on this red pine. I'm telling you though, it is cold out tonight. Like I said earlier, when you used to like 60 and 70 for a few days and now it's like 35 and 40, like, a little chilly here tonight, but I'll get moving around. Everything will be good. This log here got a little bit of a saddle in it. Uh, so what you'll see, you'll see a thick slab at both ends and real thin in the middle. We'll get it squared up, flip it 180 degrees to do the same thing. And it uh, won't be long, we'll be making some two by sixes and also probably a few uh, one inch siding boards. cold today isn't it uh, yeah that's what I was telling him earlier I said you we know it's not now. that cold but when it was 60 and 70 degrees for a few yeah. days it, when you're cutting grass one day and shoveling snow yeah shoveling next. the deck the next it's like what is going on
have a question for everybody. What? We have an Apple TV and it's just turning, the volume turns itself up or turns itself down low. And we don't know why. So yeah, I don't if know any of you can, why it does can give us pointers or point us in the right direction of what I need to do, is it a reset? I Googled it and it just brought me up a lot of feed of the same question to Apple, but then I never saw an answer. So yeah, I don't know why. Plus, I didn't spend a lot of time. It was just right before Mike needed me to come down, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna ask all you guys. Uh oh, you got sawdust in your boots. It was some of that bark off that. A lot of people don't like how she wears her pants in her boots, but she likes doing that. Uh, today. I didn't do hardly anything outside at all. I didn't. I, uh, but what I did do, I got my desk all cleaned up. I got my computer all cleaned up. And what I mean by that is with all this video, uh, man, you have to keep, you know, uploading everything to external hard drives and everything gets all cluttered up. And then slows all the video down. intros and outros. Yeah, all the intros and outros. There's just so much data, but we use a Mac and I use iMovie. I may make the move to uh, Final Cut Pro at some point. I don't know when, but I know how to use iMovie. So far it does everything I want, but I actually had a pretty productive day there. Uh, just working, tinkering around the house, the garage, the computer, all that stuff. You need to do that once in a while because I'm not good at that. I would much rather be outside. But like I said, there was snow this morning, wet, cold, windy. I'm like, I'll just get all this stuff taken care of. But uh, today is Good Friday. So uh, it's a holiday at work. We were off today. So I got that done. But like I said, tomorrow is supposed to be in the 50s. Should be pretty nice. And uh, I have one more story to share. Was it last night with yeah. Hunter? Yeah. Melissa's always, uh, how do I say this in the right way? No one she, watches Hunter. She says I don't do I a do. great job at watching Hunter. No one does as good a job as she no, does. No, because I can come home and if it's on Mike's clock, Hunter drank a bottle of Hershey syrup. Or, or yeah, he might have got into something. I might not be the best at that. He's not, and neither are, anyways. But last night, uh, we did that update on the mini cabin, and then I went back out there. The sun kind of came out for a little bit, and I'm up on a ladder, and uh, I was doing something, putting a piece of trim around a window, and I come down off the ladder, and it was windy, I couldn't hear, and I turn around, and there's Hunter standing right behind me and he's pointing towards my truck. He wanted to go hit up the Just, Burger King yeah. drive through And uh, so he walked the whole way from the house out there. I mean, it's 1,000, 1,200 feet back there in the woods. So I called Melissa. I'm like, hey, where's Hunter at? She's like, oh, he's outside. I said, look out the window. And he had gotten in the Ranger with me and we drove back. So that was my kind of gotcha moment. <laughs> I, you know what? He's not done that. Yeah, he walked the whole way out there to get me to go somewhere, but yeah. But anyway, we better saw this I up. I got my hands full with yeah, all this. She does. Working from home. I know. Home school, home gym, home. Uh, guess what? This home was my office. Now they're all invading it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, you know what? It's going really well. Hunter is starting to be like, okay, had enough of this. Yeah, this he's ready to fun. go do something. Um, it is, yeah, it's wearing thin. He wants his pajamas on at like noon. <laughs> one, yeah, 12 <laughs> noon, one o'clock. All right, well, let's saw this up. Oh, that's a broken heart right there. It's got a hole in it. Oh, it's probably Mike's broken heart because I scared him again. Yeah! Let me see that. I'm zooming Look. in on that. It's pretty neat. We're not really in a big hurry tonight, are we? It's kind of messing no, around. No, Rue, I don't want you to have it. I'm going to keep it. Every time I find a heart-shaped piece of wood, your dad's like, put it on this letter, let's go!
I got uh, five more two by sixes out of that log and three, yeah, three pieces of one by that could be used for siding. So I think with the ones we have over there, I think I've got 10, yeah, 10 more rafters is all I need. So I should be able to finish that up tomorrow. I want to mention this sawmill, one of the things that I did not expect uh, when we bought this mill was that I would be sawing so much uh, softwoods, this red pine. Like I mentioned, I didn't know how well it would work out, but that's all we've been sawing. And until we get this in a, in a sawmill shed and get a bunch of things built around here, we're gonna probably keep sawing this red pine. But we haven't even really got into the good hardwoods here. I mean, we sawed some early on, some real nice oak and cherry. I don't know if you can see that one uh, oak log behind me. That's a red oak. That thing, it's a three foot or three foot in diameter. That's the one that went in down by the pond, right. that went into the pond. But yeah, we have a lot of real nice hardwoods that uh, was primarily why I bought the mill. But once we discovered that the uh, red pine works out so well, we're gonna saw a lot of stuff with it. Miss, I think I got the camera a little. Notice it's leaning a little bit. So the fish is so, all stealing. No, this. no, this way. We okay. gotta stand this way a little bit. <laughs> but uh, Another thing is, uh, it's not disappointing, but it's surprising about this Woodmiser LX150. I mentioned it before, it does not convert to a swimming pool. It does pool, not. Like Mike Morgan told me it did. You know what? This camera's driving me nuts. Hold on. There, that's better. Oh, something else I want to mention uh, for a chance to win the uh, another Ariat $100 gift card, and it's US residents only. That's not my call. That's the way it has to be. Go to the last video. I'll put that up above because today is Friday. You're going to see this video Saturday morning. And then Sunday morning, Easter morning, uh, we will publish the winner uh, from that video. So all you have to do is go to that video up above that I showed you, leave a comment, you're automatically entered. We'll do a random comment picker like we did last time. And by the way, I sent uh, Alan his uh, gift card this morning. Nice. In Washington State, so that's Congratulations. good. Congratulations. And keep sending in the intros and outros. And like I said earlier, hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. And I think that's all I got. You got anything else? Yeah, if you want to check out Melissa Morgan's YouTube oh, channel, yeah. Melissa Morgan. We can't forget to promote that. I've been and, tossing around ideas for names, but yeah, you need to come up with a new name for that. In the end screen, I'll put one of her videos so you can find her channel and subscribe to Melissa's if Did you, you like. See him cutting me off. Anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Like we always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks. Hey everybody, coming to you from central Indiana. It's a beautiful sunny day, it's about 50 degrees. My name's Dave, I'm here with my uh, family, my wife Chas, daughter Madison, and daughter Carly behind the camera there. We've been uh, cutting a little firewood, splitting a little bit today. Mike, I'm running the uh, steel MS311, and also because of the uh, review you did on the steel chaps, I actually went out and bought a pair. Never have done that before. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and share with your friends. Have, Have a day! day.